everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for the weekend of Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 11th, 12th and 13th of October. And I'm just going to shuffle first of all with the Guardian Angel cards for Friday and we'll see what comes from those cards. Also, if you'd like to suggest a theme for next week, I'd be very open to that because I want this to be something that, you know, is what you're actually looking for. I want it to answer questions that you're actually asking. I want it to be something that will serve whatever the current need is or whatever the current wave of feeling is that's coming from you but as a co-creation rather than just something that comes from me or just something that comes from you. I want it to be something that we can feed into together and that I can also allow my guides to influence some sort of um, message that comes through me and um, and also use the cards to answer it so it's quite nice to have a theme as we discovered before but I don't know that I always want to choose the theme myself so be feel free to make a suggestion and I will choose the one that you know, makes my heart go ping, that's it, or the one that my guides say, yep, yeah, let's go with that one. Right, so for Friday, patience. Okay, so the card says, patience is required at the moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there is a lot going on energetically. Okay, so this, is, this has been a very powerful week, a powerful week of shifting, a powerful week of opening up to seeing the truth, opening up to overcoming fears. And now when we come to this other layer where we've, we're stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, oh, I don't know if I can step up there. So somewhere in that, I'm not sure if I can step up there, there's a little bit of a waiting period while the rest of the consciousness adjusts to that new expectation and so what we're being asked to do on Friday is to understand that these things go in rhythms and that when we push ourselves beyond a pattern we sometimes need to give ourselves time for the whole of the consciousness to come on board and catch up with that with that new rhythm with that new intention so the card says patience is required at the moment you may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realise that this whole event was in fact a blessing. So, in other words, when we are slowed down sometimes, it's for a good reason. It's so that we don't trip over our feet. It's so that we have time and it's so that all of the right factors and all of the right elements come together in this creation. We're not just going ahead, bumbling ahead, pushing ourselves, pretending we're ready and some aspect of consciousness is going to uh, attract something that's going to be a fly in the ointment. It means that we are really, truly waiting for the end for the entire being to catch up so that when we do complete the creation it's exactly what we're hoping for so don't be afraid to just step back a little bit and let the rhythm of the creation itself take the lead and it says all is perfect as it is trust you are eternally loved and guided for saturday let's look at saturday and um, i'm going to pick another card um well first card in a long time from the secret language of color lilac strengthen your faith so okay we've got patience on friday saturday is the time to just let go trust that it's happening trust that there are things happening behind the scenes that you don't necessarily know about tune in connect with your heart ask your higher self ask your guys to show you the truth of this if you have any doubt or any fears at all that it's not happening or that nothing's happening this is going to be a good day saturday to just strengthen your faith by going inside and by asking to be shown ask to be shown that something is happening or ask to just be shown how to chill out and forget about it for a little while. Just let, because the, the greatest show of faith sometimes is to just let go and get on with doing something else, knowing that it's all coming, knowing that it's coming to fruition, knowing that what we've put our intention out there for is on its way. And that is sometimes the, the toughest and yet the highest learning that we can do to completely trust in the divine, trust in what we've manifested, trust in that connection and know that what's for our highest good is inevitably coming to us, but it is what's for our highest good that will come. So where something isn't for our highest good, 
we, we might as well let go of that as well because it's not it's not coming <laughs> okay so that's for saturday strengthen your faith and for sunday i'm going to the archangel cards again and the card i've got is blessings so and that's a nice card for Sunday, really, because sometimes we do manage to get quieter on Sundays than we do on other days. You know, not necessarily in a religious sense. We all have different beliefs and ideas, but things do calm down in most parts of the world a little bit um, more than usual on a Sunday. So it's a nice day to really take note of the blessings that we have in our lives and to stop getting wound up about the things that haven't quite happened yet. They're on their way, we know they're on their way, so we can just let go a little bit. And the card says, love, light, blessings. Through this card, you are being showered with angelic light. Accept the blessings about to come your way. And this is again very similar to that idea of allowing the divine to run through us, to be the creative force in our lives. And it's also a reminder that what's for our highest good is coming to us and that we need to just open up to that and hand it over to the angels, hand it over to God, hand it over to the divine and just say, well, okay, I've done my part, I've shown willing, I've opened my heart and I've, I've let you know I'm ready and I trust now that you'll do the rest according to the highest good of all. So, um, okay, and it also says, and know that you deserve to be, know that you deserve to accept those blessings, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart desires. You are being lovingly guided along a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover your true essence. And that magical journey can sometimes be quite a windy road because it is the road to the truth of who we are. And the truth of who we are is painted over with all kinds of illusory stuff and ideas about what's right according to what we think is right or what other people think is right or what society thinks is right or what we think will gain uh, gain us love and affection or attention or achievement or qualifications or respectability or any of those things but in fact the journey towards our true essence is the one that will test us the most but that will bring the greatest and most beautiful rewards when we surrender to it so Sunday is going to be a day to surrender to that surrender all of our dreams to that and to know that what's for our highest good is really what the dream is at this point. Okay, um, the infinite and eternal you is what the essential you is. The infinite eternal you, not the you that's here in this moment, in this small transitory moment of ex existence and experience of the physical, the eternal you, the journey of your soul, the person, the being you came to, to express in this short time span as truly as you possibly can at this time in your in our consciousness so congratulations you're on the way to doing that and that's what this time is very much about this time of ascension this time of raising our frequency this time of being pushed and pulled and squeezed and tested to the max in order to really get to the truth get to that essence that grain that original di divine spark of what you were created for what we are most gifted in and what we bring in each incarnation as the greatest gift for the evolution and the upliftment of all including ourselves so that's it that's quite a lot for a weekend isn't it that's quite a mouthful have a great weekend everyone and i'll be back on monday thanks for listening bye